What is going on everybody? It's the Bag of Tricks here. Welcome back to another video. Feels good to say that once again. Content's gonna be rolling out here now that winter is approaching. Today, I have a very, very fun video to bring you guys that I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy. There might be some arguments down in the comments, but I think a lot of people wonder this when they first get into winter sports and extreme winter sports, snowboarding and skiing, and that is what is more fun snowboarding or skiing so today we're going to be discussing that but before this video gets started i just wanted to let you guys know that the brand new every days of bluebird shirt is in stock this is something that we really worked hard on to bring to life they are hand tie-dyed the designs were made by myself everything is hand pressed hand tie-dyed handmade it's just a very loving and caring process that goes into these shirts and we are very, very happy with the results. They are now in stock. Link will be right here, here, and down below in the description to the web store where you can pick up not only this shirt, but the bot beanie, bot stickers, the park rat long sleeve necklaces, everything else to get you ready for this winter. Everything's in stock. So please, please, please check it out, support the channel and purchase one. But man, this shirt, I'm keeping one for myself, man, because I love it. I actually love it. Also this season, every single order that you make on the web store gets you 20% off your next order. So again, support the channel, pick up some dope gear. And again, we make it all by hand. It's a lot of work, but I love the process. And I love shipping them out to you guys, knowing that people are repping this stuff that we made by hand. It's so sick. So again, link will be down below in the description if you want to pick one of these up. So what is more fun, skiing or snowboarding? Before we dive into this, I really wanna quickly talk about my experience with both sports. So I started skiing when I was eight years old. I probably skied for close to four, five, six years. And then in middle school, I switched over to snowboarding and I did that for four, five, six years. I got to a pretty high level of snowboarding, was doing difficult park tricks, went to a couple big mountains, just had a lot of experiences in those years on the board, and then ended up switching back to skiing when I got older in late high school, early college, and now where I'm at today, I pretty much only ski, but I have a lot of experience. I've gotten to a pretty high level in both sports. Obviously now I'm higher. I'm at a higher level for skiing, but when I was snowboarding, I was, I was getting up there. 720s, flips, all kinds of stuff. Obviously, I'm not a pro at either sport and I'm not gonna pretend to be, but I'm somebody who has been there, done that in a lot of different aspects of both of these sports. So I feel I have enough experience to compare these to you guys and kind of talk about where I find each sport more fun because full disclaimer, neither one of these sports is completely more fun than the other, but I do have to say that one sport may be more fun in certain mediums, if you will. So what I've done today is I've broken each sport down into different categories, and we're gonna be going through each of those categories and saying basically which one is more fun in which category. All right, so to start off, we're gonna start outside of the park. So what I've done is broken this down outside of the park into groomers, difficult inbound trails, woods, and powder. So, so let's start out with the very first category, groomers. These are nice mellow groom trails that you will ride at any resort you come across. For this, I'm gonna give the fun factor to the snowboard. And the reason being is there's just so much more you can do on flat ground with a snowboard. Now, maybe I just suck at buttering on skis. I do, but to me doing butters, tail butters, different styles of carving, you can pop ollies, you can pop nollies. You, you just have so much more creativity on basic groomed flat trails than you do on skis. When I ski on groomers, basically the most intense and most fun thing that I can do is just hop to switch and ride backward and kind of practice carving switch. That is very fun, but to me, there is much more opportunity for fun on a snowboard when you're just doing groomers, when you're just doing basic trails. Every little bump, every little side booter turns into something enjoyable. And yes, you can do that on skis, but I just think there's more to snowboarding when it comes to this type of trail. So moving on from there, what about difficult inbound trails? So we're not in the bad country yet, but these are not your average green circle, blue square. These are steeps, maybe they're ungroomed, maybe they got moguls, maybe it's icy if you're on the east coast, you know. 
just difficult terrain that's inbound. It is a trail still on the trail map, but it's tough. It's not easy. It's not groomed. For this scenario, I would give it to skiing hands down. My biggest nightmare when I was a snowboarder was getting on a steep trail that had a lot of moguls because I there's nothing you can do. You can't really ride through moguls on a snowboard. I'm sure there's people out there that can, but for the average snowboarder, it's a nightmare. And not only that, but just ungroomed ice in general, I just always felt like I was able to attack them more aggressively on skis. And for me, you know, <laughs> If you don't see the trend already, like I'm trying to make the most out of what, whatever trail I'm on. If I'm on a groomer, I wanna be doing like mini tricks, ollies, nollies, butters, whatever the case may be. But if I'm on a steep, the thing I find fun on steeps is attacking them, skiing them aggressively, skiing them in the way that they should be or riding them for that matter. So for me, I have more fun on skis, through steeps, through ungroomed trails. Gotta go to the skis. Now let's move on to woods because the woods, in my opinion, other than park, are the most fun aspect of either of these sports. And this is a toss up to me. This is a toss up. I have had amazing experiences on a snowboard in woods and I've had amazing experience on skis. If you had to pin me down and say pick one, I'm gonna go with the snowboard here because it's just different man. It's just different kind of surfing through the woods. You know going directly forward having a little bit more control is is awesome but to me if you get a kind of more open wooded area just carving through there it, there's it's so fun. It's such a cool experience and I just love the flow and the feel of it. So for this, I would have to go with a snowboard, but in general, I think you're going to have a blast in both sports if you're in the woods. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. All right, let's move on to powder. Powder is something I don't really have a ton of experience on on a snowboard. On skis, I do. And the issue I've always had with skiing powder is I don't have the proper skis to ski powder. I don't have powder skis. I have park skis. And while my park skis are usually wider than most downhill skis, they're still not wide enough to properly ski powder. So while it has been fun to ski powder, every every single time I'm in one of those situations with my park skis, I kind of think in the back of my head, damn, I wish I had my snowboard. Because even though I don't have a powder specific snowboard, for the times that I did snowboard on powder, it handled it way, way better. And not only that, but it just felt better, dude. It, it felt like you were surfing. It felt like you were floating on top of snow. It just felt amazing and I'm sure if you had powder skis, it would feel very similar, but that's the big difference here. Like you need to buy powder skis in order to fully enjoy powder. So I wouldn't say one is more fun than the other because I, I truly don't have the experience to, to make that comment. But for the average person, it's going to be a lot easier to get enjoyment on powder with a snowboard versus buying two sets of skis. I mean, that's just my opinion. But also, I have always thought if I get to move out west someday and I'm skiing a resort that has powder often, on powder days I'm gonna snowboard because again, the few experiences I've had on a snowboard in powder was wonderful, floating, surfing on snow. And I truly believe that I would enjoy snowboarding on powder much more than I would enjoy skiing. But again, it's tough for me to say because I haven't skied powder on powder skis, so. So let's move on to park. As an East Coaster, I am a true park rat. Growing up doing both sports, I spent most of my time in the park, hiking rails, hitting jumps, doing all that, hot laps, whatever the case may be. Let's start out with basic jumping. Small jumps, side booters, you're just doing grabs, you're not throwing crazy cork spins. No spins at all, no spins at all. Let's go there, no spins, no flips. Just, you wanna do basic jumps and you wanna have fun doing it. I would suggest snowboarding all day, every day. I think the grabs on a snowboard just feel so much better than skis. And I take this, this is coming from a skier. Like I love park skiing to death, but there's nothing better than throwing a little method off a little jump and just having a chill time on jumps. Like if I'm not in the mood to really send tricks on jumps on my skis, really the coolest thing I can do is like a shifty, maybe like a tweet tail grab or something. But with a snowboard, like if you just want to straight air jumps and throw grabs, there's so many different grabs you can do. And it's really, really sick. So for basic jump tricks, where you're not spinning at all, where you're just trying to chill, hit the jumps, do a little grab here and there, 
hands down, snowboarding is more fun. Now let's go over to the rail side of things. Basic rails, I'm gonna have to give this to skiing because to me, it just feels better. You truly get that solid lock in. If you're looking to hit like a down flat, down rail and not do a trick on it, but just get through it, I think it feels better on skis. Locking into a 50-50 on a snowboard also feels very good, but you know, from there, I feel like the progression of snowboard rail tricks gets really difficult really fast. Whereas with skiing, there's a ton of tricks you can learn that I would still consider very basic. They're not much different than a rail slide. Like, okay, you learn a rail slide to forward, you learn a rail slide to switch, you learn a front two out and a back two out. Those are like the first four tricks, I would say. That's a little bit more fun than a, than what you can do on a snowboard. But the more I think about it, I, honestly, dude, it might, it might be a toss up. It might be a toss up because locking in a 50-50, doing a front one, back one out, that's pretty dope as well. And it feels very smooth and very flowy. So for this, it might just be up to the person. So advanced jumps, now you're starting to spin, now you're starting to flip. I'm gonna give this to skiing as well. Here, here is what I categorize as fun for it in, an advanced jump trick. It's not necessarily the feeling of doing the trick in the air, but it's the landing. When I'm having fun on big jumps, doing big tricks, I'm stomping those tricks to bolts and I'm riding away real smooth, real clean. I've always had much more success doing that on skis. Um, I'm not worried about catching my edge and whiplashing straight to my face or straight to the back of my head. I'm not worried about washing out on the landing. And I've always had much more success and felt it much easier to land harder tricks on jumps, on skis. And again, to me, fun is progressing. It's landing big tricks. It's landing hard tricks. And again, I just think it's easier on skis. And I'm not just saying this because I am a better skier at this point than I ever was at snowboarding. The first year I skied, I was doing 360s off bigger jumps, something I really, really struggled with on a snowboard, and I was putting them down one after another. That's something I could never really get down on a snowboard. I just couldn't figure out how to catch my edge on the landing and stick jumps. So that feeling of sticking jumps and, and just being able to progress and push and push and push, not to mention flips felt a lot more natural because you were going forwards rather than sideways is what makes me enjoy more difficult tricks on skis more than I ever did on a snowboard. Finally, we have advanced rail tricks. This one hands down goes to skiing. There's a million combinations of rail tricks you can do on skis. It's actually insane. Now there are a ton of combinations that you can also do on a snowboard, but the switch up game in skiing where you can stop your momentum and spin the other way, land back on the rail, stop your momentum again, spin back the other way, it adds a whole another dimension to advanced rail skiing and it is why I chose to ski honestly it's why I chose to switch sticking jumps and the insane amount of rail tricks is what caused me to make the permanent switch over to skiing and I'll stand by, by that to the day I die rail tricks on skis 10 times more fun 10 times more possibilities 10 times more progression opportunities there it is guys those are all the categories I could think of please let me know what you think down below in the comments Pick up some Bot Life apparel, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a dislike if you're pissed about what I just said, but please, if you leave a dislike, leave a comment below and we can discuss. Thank you all for watching so much. This is the Bag of Tricks, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.